Well, how's everyone doing? Quick little update here. I'm just gonna do a little quick short vids as I go. Working on a driver's door. As you remember, I had a patch panel. I had a weld in here because it actually rotted from the inside out from the tar paper I used to use, and that didn't work over, you know, 80 years of dirt built up. And finding a two-door sedan door that I can afford that's not rotted out is finding to be pretty much impossible. So I had to fix it. I had to put a whole new section in the bottom of the door and then cut out that square re rectangular section here and weld that in and weld that in. I'm no body guy. I'll be honest, I hate body work. Hate it with a passion. But all I'm going for here is just to kind of make it look halfway decent. So I need just a big eyesore on the side of it car. So I got my first couple coats of primer, or, uh, primer. Bondo on there. I'll sand that off here pretty soon, but it's like 90 degrees in the shop today. and This is going to be crazy hot. I got my rust converter on the inside of the wheel well. I got to let that hard it up a little bit, then prime it and paint it. Don't know if I'm going to underbody it or not. I haven't quite decided. Probably not. I'm not a big fan of underbody. And then uh, drill the holes and get the fenders fully mounted. So that's Kind of where we're at. The exhaust is done on the other side. Let's finish that up during the week. I don't know if I can see yeah, you guys can kind of see it. Looks like the other side. On this side here, I don't have to do much body work. I'm not I'm not painting it this year and I'm not going for show quality, so all my pat patch panels and stuff I did I'm not too concerned with right now for bonding in. So we'll worry about that maybe in winter or the following year or the year after that. I don't know. For right now it's gonna be in primer for a while. So that's our man. All right, we're gonna start in this nose piece on the hood. Got it clamped on here. Measured it out from this side to this side when I had it on the car yet. So I clamped on this channel iron, so I'll keep it at the right dimension. What I'm planning on doing is welding up the seam. So that'll be fun. I'm sure I'll warp the heck out of that. And then I'm gonna put a, a metal rod, kind of give it a little strength, so all the way down and around. Weld that in and grind it smooth, so that's what we're up to. Alright, got the seam welded up all the way down. Took my time, didn't want to warp nothing. You know, a little, little wheel here, a little there. Got the big holes welded up for the hood emblem or whatever else was on there. So that's done. It's not too warm. Actually, it's pretty cold yet. So I must have did something right. And it didn't warp it. At least no worse than it was when I, before I even chopped it up. Somebody sandblasted this hood, and that's why I would never use it for, you know, restoration. So it didn't bug me to chop it off. But it'll be good enough for what I need. Now to do the beading. All right, now back to the beading here. What I mean beading, and it's just a hunk of rod here. I think it's quarter-inch rod. Bent it up. And that took forever. Good thing I didn't videotape that because it'd be like an hour long. It's got to match the contour of the hood perfectly, which it does for the most part. Kind of. So, a little bit more tweaking and we'll have that on there. Yeah, if it was good, I could make one piece for both sides, but I'm not that good. So, we'll do one side at a time. And tack weld that in, grind it smooth, and it'll give this hood, which is real flimsy right now, a lot of rigidity. Uh, it's actually a trick I learned from the boys that I used to hang around with that did uh, enduro racing. We used to do that with half inch steel rod and all the wheel wells. So it looked stock, but actually it was, you know, like an armored car. So when another car would bump you, he'd get wrecked and you'd just bounce off. Kind of cool. So here we go. I'm going to weld this on. Alright, I got the one side welded on. Carefully, you know. Little bit, little bit, did burn through a couple times into the hood side, but nothing major. And then I, I did start grinding on this because I just I want to see what it looked like, and it turned out really good. I am very happy so far. All I'm using to grind it down is a flap wheel and my grinder. It's 80 grit. Very cool little buggers. Highly recommend them. And that's where we're at. Obviously, I'll cut this extra little piece of rod off. I just want to, it was easier to bend if you had more for leverage to make this radius. So I can easily chop that off. So now I'm going to keep grinding this and then we'll form up the other side and get that welded on and then grind the whole hood down and see what she turns out to looking like. Stay tuned. 
All right, got it on the car now again. Everything's ground smooth and beat out the kind of a warp that was in there, but kind of got pretty close. Still have to weld up these little holes up for that chrome badging, but this all turned out really nice. A little bit of a warp here, but I think that was in the hood before I got it. I started chopping on it. It's a little close to my radiator bars, and I have to do a little tweaking on that. I still have to rework some stuff here on the hood yet because, for whatever reason, the radiuses aren't matching up. It's a little bit more of a gap here. It's good all the way around here, and in the front, for whatever reason, it's just not coming down right. So I'm going to have to add a little metal in there and make that look better. But other than that, I'm liking it. So a little bit more welding, a little bit more tweaking, and we'll get her done. I don't know. I think I like it. It's cool. Get it painted flat black. It'll look neat. And I'll do this over the summer for car shows. Maybe find some kind of really neat looking hood emblem from, you know, the 30s or the 40s and maybe we'll put that on there. Well, that's it. Well, that's it for today at least. It's too nice of a day to be sitting in the shop all day. Might have to jump in a car and disappear. So, see you later.